Welcome book nerds, we're back. Please like and subscribe to my channel, I could really use the love. Today I wanted to talk about the new book by Stephanie Garver, The Ballad of Never After. This book is so enjoyable to read. I loved this book. This is the follow-up story to Once Upon a Broken Heart, the Prince of Hearts series by Stephanie Garber. It's the characters that were introduced in the Carval trilogy, specifically Jax, the Fate, the Prince of Hearts. And if you've kind of forgotten about Jax, Jax was in the last two of the Carval books, and he is the fate that once he kisses you, you will die. He will kill every woman that he kisses because he doesn't truly love them. Only his one true love will not die from his curse. He really latches on to this girl, Evangeline Fox, in this story. And it's a great story. It's a great heartwarming story. It feels like a fairy tale. It's very lighthearted and it's very fun to read. It's written in third person but it feels like first person. It's written with all the emotion of the character. You really feel what she's going through and all these these events that are happening and you feel how she emotionally is going through it. So Jax wants Evangeline to open the Valerie Arch, prophesized tomb that only she can open. And it's not a good thing. She, no one wants her to open it because there's some unspeakable evil in this thing. But Jax has cursed her fiancé. And he says that if she opens it, he will break the curse. She's making her open it because she's the only one who can really open it. But it's very well known that if she opens it, all badness will ensue. So this book felt like a gift. This was a gift for me. After reading the last book that I read, I really needed a cleanse. I really needed something to like just start over with. And this was so enjoyable to read. And such a fun, engaging story. I read this book in two days because it was that fun to read. Granted, it's only like 400 pages long, but it's, uh, I got a full-time job. <laughs> and I went through this book in two days. Stephanie Garber has such a gift of crafting these worlds that are light and fun to read. In a YA book, you don't do tons of world building, but there is good world building built around the conversations of the characters and just how they react around the things that are happening. And you're told all these histories of the fates and the magic behind the fates and why they are the fates and all these things. It's very fun. It's very whimsical magic as if it is a fairy tale. And she's like she's cast into those childhood fairy tales and she has to figure out that those childhood fairy tales usually didn't end very well. And Stephanie dances with those fantasy tropes, those fairy tale tropes really well and makes them fresh. They don't feel old and tired. If It's fresh and it's enjoyable. So again, you don't need to read the Carval series to get this book. You could just pick up Once Upon a Broken Heart and understand what's happening. There are events that are important. You don't need to have read them. You don't. Wrap up The Ballad of Never After, A minus. Why A minus? Because nothing is perfect. Thank you. Read fantasy.